Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. This is video number four I filmed today, I think. I'm dying, it's so hot. I want to put my fan on, but I can't because you won't hear shit. So, yeah, so this weekend at the time of filming, San Diego Comic Con is happening, like this weekend. And obviously, we had the massive uh, Marvel Hall H panel, which always drops some kind of massive news that breaks in there. I've been seeing a lot of stuff that's been going around today. Um, apparently, there's been an announcement by Robert Downey Jr. And I'm like, okay. So, I'm going to watch it and give my thoughts on it. Because I think they've... I don't know if it was all of Phase 6, I think. But they've announced some things. So, I thought, okay. I feel like I need to do a video and react to this. So... I'm going to give the video a watch just to see what it is and then I'll give my reaction to it after. But you know when it's trending and everyone's saying Marvel's broken in there again. I was like, I need to do a video on this one. So yeah, I'm going to watch it and then I'll talk about it after. So someone's uploaded it on YouTube. Avengers 5 Doomsday is titled. Okay, interesting. So I'm going to watch it and give my take on it. So without further ado... Let's give this a watch and see what Marvel have announced, shall we? Avengers Doomsday. Okay. Interesting. There's a bunch of Doctor Dooms, it looks like, walking on stage. Now, for those who don't know, it's been announced that the Russo brothers are directing 5 and 6. Now, uh, listen, if, if, if we're going to bring Victor Von Doom to the screen, and he is... This is going to go more, He's one of the more complex characters in all of comics, right, Kevin? And we've I been mean, calling him for Doctor Doom for years, to be fair. one of the more characters in all of fiction. If we're going to do this, if we're going to bring him to What's... movie theaters worldwide... This is going to be a Loki moment, I feel. Then I think we're going to need the greatest actor in the okay. world to play that character. Wow. Yeah, be okay. Ladies and gentlemen, words. as proof of the unimaginable possibility this must have been insane to have been there Marvel to see this i universe. can't imagine we give you the one person who could play victor von Doom. i'm getting goosebumps just watching this i'm not even in there oh here we go that roof has just gone absolutely berserk oh he's soaking this up Robert Downey Jr. as Victor Von Doom. Interesting. Oh, he's such a showman, eh? There's only one guy that could have pulled this off. New mask. Same time. He doesn't get the save much, you know what I mean? He's just got the charisma. What can I tell you? I like playing complicated characters. Fair. That's a fair statement. Okay. Wow. Interesting. The atmosphere must have been insane when this happens. Can't even imagine, bro. Yeah, like Roberts, like Roberts said, new mask, same task, and the task for all of us, including everybody in this room, together, is for us to help create the greatest possible experience that we can all have together in a movie theater. So let's get to it, bring your imagination, your love, and your passion, and we will see you in two years with Doomsday! Doomsday, okay. Whew. Interesting. Right, okay. So, I couldn't really find like the full, I mean there was like a 15 minute video but i'm dying so the short version is during this panel there was stuff about the thunderbolts to at a panel so the cast of that came out there was a fantastic four panel where we got to see all the cast as well they came out there was captain america 4 as well there was a segment for that and then the big part was the announcement for avengers 5 doomsday which i'm guessing is a place the kang dynasty and then avengers secret war in 2027 and we've got this announcement of Robert Downey Jr. playing Doctor Doom. Now, my initial reaction is that's an interesting move. Part of me's like, 
why and then another part of me is kind of like should they have maybe given another actor a chance i mean don't get me wrong i love robert downey jr what he's done as iron man groundbreaking but i think the issue for a lot of people are going to have is they only see him as iron man now for him to come back and into the mcu but play doctor doom i think it's gonna be i imagine there's gonna be a mixed reception for this i think he can do it because he's you know he's a such a phenomenal actor um and i'm <laughs> i'm trying to think how they're gonna do it because they could be taking a reference from the infamous iron man maybe which obviously just a bit of nerd background if you guys aren't aware infamous iron man it's a story in the marvel comics where i think at the time tony stark was presumed dead and then Victor Von Doom essentially becomes Iron Man. So I don't know if that's what they're doing or if this is a variant of Tony Stark that instead of becoming Iron Man, he turns to the evil side and he becomes Doctor Doom trying to save the world. So I don't know how they're going to do it. It's an interesting um, it's an interesting take. I mean, being in that hall when that announcement and he walked out and took the mask, that must have been electric because you could just see from that video, fans went that shit like that was kind of like a low-key moment i think uh years ago during when they first did the avengers film so yeah um i don't know it's it's definitely an interesting one maybe because marvel know they've not been doing too great maybe it's an attempt to try and bring people back to save the franchise i don't know like don't get me wrong the russo brothers coming back i love because they did such a great job of like winter soldier which arguably could be one of the greatest comic book films ever there's civil war they did infinity war and endgame the second highest grossing film of all time and when the russos and kevin feige work together they just they just create lightning in a bottle with those four films so there's a lot of directors floating around but i'm gonna be honest if anyone can do doomsday and secret wars it's the russo brothers like when it comes to the comic book genre they just know how to smash it out of the park so i've got full faith in them I can see with this Robert Downey Jr. thing why some people are for it and some are a bit against it. I'm going to reserve judgment because I, I think he can do it. I just think the only thing that people might struggle with is the fact that he's played Iron Man since 2008 up until 2019. So I think that's the only thing that might be strange for people if you're like, you know, the average moviegoer. You're probably not going to look too much into it, but I think if you're a fan of the comics like me and a lot of people and you've, you know, been a part of the MCU since day one, it's kind of a bit of a strange one, but I think he'll do a really good Doctor Doom. And knowing Robert Danger, he probably wouldn't have come back if he, one, he didn't like the idea, or two, he thought, do you know what, this is going to give me something like a new challenge to do. And if it is a Tony Stark variant, then okay i can see that because i think from what i've been seeing is dr doom's not in the fantastic four i think it's galactus is gonna be the villain that one and i reckon doom will be one they're gonna you know work on over x amount of years up until secret wars because we got three years till secret wars so yeah it's um I mean, it's a cool announcement so i guess we'll have to see what happens really i mean it's still what like, years away and it's just like the uh the quote he said say <laughs> new mask same task what can i say i like playing complicated characters and victim on doom he's such a complex character as well like he believes he's doing right but obviously you know he enslaves tries to save the world he's got his kingdom he builds new latveria as well so it'll be interesting to see how they're gonna do it safe to say kang's done um because I, I imagine Kang Dynasty has been replaced by Doomsday now. So, I'll be interested to see how they do it. Like, we've got a few years. Obviously, the most important thing they've got to do, they've got to assemble the Avenger team, which I imagine Captain America 4, it'll either be during the film or they might have a post credit scene where Sam Wilson tries to, you know, rebuild the Avengers, because at the moment there are no Avengers in the MCU. So, yeah, the next few years will be very key and they're going to have to really try and get this because Secret Wars is such a massive story. There's so much that happens in it. There's so many heroes that come into that story 
Um, so they're going to have to really knuckle down these next few years to try and get this right because you can't... If if the MCU was to end, which one day you never be, it will do, Secret Wars would be the way to do it because that would be the culmination of everything. So, yeah, they've got to, they've got to get this one right. I'm going to be interested to see how Robert Downey Jr. approaches the role of Victor Von Doom, if it is that, or like I said, if they're going to adapt him for Iron Man but change Victor to Tony Stark variant, who knows, but they got to be careful they don't try to do anything that's going to undermine the end of Endgame with Tony Stark sacrificing himself. So, yeah, it's a, it's a cool announcement. And uh, he definitely lived up to the, the moment, Robert Downey Jr. I mean, he's a showman anyway, so... But yeah, I'm I'm kind of on the fence about it. It's really cool, but at the same time, I'm going to have a hard time seeing him as Victor Von Doom because of Tony Stark, so I guess we'll see. And if anything else comes out, I imagine there's going to be a lot of stuff that comes out after San Diego, but I'll do follow-up stuff. But yeah, I just wanted to react to this because it was just breaking the internet. And uh, yeah, it's definitely an interesting announcement. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, that's it for this one, guys. If you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. Stay tuned for more videos. Drop a comment. What do you think? Are you happy with the Robert Downey Jr. returning as Victor Von Doom? Are you not so happy? Let me know what you think. We can get a discussion going. And uh, yeah, if anything else develops, I'll do some follow-up videos. But until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a great day, and I shall see you then.